Hello everyone, this is Mr. Robberon here again, and today I'm here for part 2 on my beginner's guide to My Hero 1's Justice 2. Today we're going to be focusing on the concept of sidekicks in this game. How they work, how to use them, and just all about them and everything you'll need to know. So, um, as you can see, I've chosen two supports for my Mirio, Rafa and Kirishima. Now, for supports, very generally, there are kind of two types of supports. There are supports that either can start or extend combos. Someone like Raupa, Jiro, Aizawa, those kind of characters that either holds the opponent or like freeze them, kind of like Jiro does. Um, Aizawa holds him with his um, scarf, and Raupa holds him with all these punches, so I can very easily combo off of them. And get a combo from him. Uh, yeah, so that's a combo support. I'll just put him on recovery so he gets mad at me. <laughs> and there are also supports that kind of just do an attack, and that's about it. Some of them throw projectiles, like Toga, um, like Kirishima. He just does this charge at the opponent, does a little bit of damage. He has armor, but, you know, he just does a little attack, you know, keep the opponent at bay and stuff. But the main difference between these two types of supports is the time that it takes for them to come back. So if I use them both at about the same time, and we just sit here for a little second, you can see that Kirishima is coming back a lot quicker than Rapa is. And generally, in very basic, there are a few different timings for supports to come back, and you can search those up online. Um, but basically, if they start combos, they'll be slow like Rapa, and if they don't, they'll be fast like Kirishima. Um, and that's just how they're scaled. Uh, so, and for how to use supports, um, I think it's pretty obvious. For combo supports like Rapa, if you time them correctly, you can, you know, make your own combos, find extensions, have some crazy combos that didn't cost me any dash cancels and did uh, 10,400 damage, and it only cost me a Rapa support. But, you know, try out supports, try out different things. If you call them at certain times, you know, you can use them for extend combos for really interesting things to extend your combos. And uh, yeah, so combo supports, they're really good for that. But other supports, like maybe ones like, um, like Kirishima, for example, or, um, what's her name? Uh, maybe, uh, oh my goodness, I'm having a complete mind blank. But like Toga, or other ones that don't really start combos, but they throw something out or just do a single attack, like maybe Todoroki, or Shoot Style, or Deku. They don't really start combos, but they just go out there, and they're an attack that goes out, and the opponent will usually try to block them. They're just something you throw out, but they come out a lot faster, and that's what you're going to use them for. Maybe you'll use them for like if you're doing pressure, like if I'm attacking Bakugo here. I can make my, um, maybe an attack like this, um, is usually very unsafe, or this, let me just break his guard, but those attacks are very unsafe, but if I pull out my Kirishima, oh, if it doesn't break his guard, let me just let his guard come back, but if I do this, oh, and then pull out Kirishima, then I'm completely safe, because he had to block the Kirishima. Oh my goodness, can his guard just, like, no? Um, but yeah, if I do something like this... Oh my goodness! <laughs> Break your guard! Buckle go, damn it! But yeah, yeah, let me get Kirishima. If I do something like this... Go like Kirishima, then he has to block Kirishima, and I've made that totally safe. So that's what a support like him can be really useful for. Um, and as you can see, when I use the supports, they only go down to about half of their use. And you might be wondering, why would they just go down for half of their use instead of just being used all the way? That doesn't really make sense. That's because there are two different ways that a support meter can be used up. You can either use your supports as to just call them out either in your combos or just in the neutral when you're walking around. You can either call out your support or if I put Bakugo on to do a target combo and I call a support when I'm getting hit, They'll have an animation, they'll do a different attack. Kirishima did that headbutt there, which is not his normal support button. But as you can see, it also did base next to no damage to Bakugo. Um, but it broke the combo. It took me out of the combo, but as you'll see, 
you look at Kirishima's meter, it costs the entire sidekick meter. So that's when you're going to be losing a lot of your sidekick meter, is if you're using them to break combos. Not that that's something you shouldn't be doing, you should certainly um, be breaking combos if you want to, if you know your opponent's going to do a lot of damage with their combo. You know, Bakugo has some pretty damaging combos and they, they've gotten a hit. You don't want to be taking all that damage, so you, know, you call out a Kirishima, and you've broken their combo, and maybe you get to attack them next, and then you get the advantage. But yeah, that's when all of the meter will be used up, and that's when it's useful to have a um a character like Kirishima on your team, who doesn't really have a great sidekick for doing combos or anything, but he just comes back a lot faster. So if I've broken a combo with Kirishima, he's gonna come back a lot faster than my Rapa support will. So I can break combos a lot more frequently than I will with Rapa. Um, the beginning charge up uh, looks about the same, but they do end up being a lot faster, um, the quicker supports. So that's why it's good to have maybe a, no a combo support and a non-combo support, one to break the combos and one to extend your combos. And uh, yeah. Um, what else to talk about supports? Oh, it's also good to note that um, I can't really show it because we're in training mode and every time I attack him he gets full health. But you can't actually kill your opponent with sidekick attacks. So if I, if Bakugo had like nearly zero health, I did a combo that took almost all of his health, you know, he's down to like 2% health, like this tiny little piece. If he gets hit by this Rapa, and I'm all the way over here, Rapa isn't gonna kill him. Even if he has like 0% life, a tiny little tiny speck of health, Rapa is not gonna kill him. Sidekicks cannot finish off the opponent, you have to do that yourself. And that's where side, um, comboing sidekicks can be really helpful. So if I do hit with Rapa, I can see that he's hitting them, coming with something like this, and that would kill him and win the round because I hit him with one of my attacks. But just a good thing to keep in note, that you're not going to win a round by using a sidekick attack. They will not finish the game. So, yeah, that's something very important to keep in mind, because that catches a lot of people out online. They see that, like, it's happened to me if they have me on really low health and they're like, oh, I'll just call out my support to finish him off and I don't die. People get salty, so make sure you don't end up in that boat. Um, so yeah, those are the two types of supports and that's how to use them. You can also use your supports if you press the sidekick button twice, they will perform their plus- oh, that wasn't a very good example, was it? They will do their um, sidekick plus ultra. And this is basically just what you would expect. Your sidekick does a plus ultra, but it does a lot less damage than an actual plus ultra. And that's because, well obviously, it's going to be really easy for you to combo off of this plus ultra, so it's not going to do as much damage as a normal plus ultra. Um, yeah, I kind of messed up there. But there are some really awesome combos, like if you've seen my Mineta breakdown video, there are some really, some characters really, um, do well with, um, sidekick plus ultras, and can get some really awesome combos off of them. Mirio isn't really one of them, but, uh... But there are some really good combos, and but that's just something also good to note. Like maybe if Ivan is blocking and I want to call out this crazy Rafa plus Ultra that breaks guard, it can be good for pressure, especially if I'm attacking at the same time. <laughs> it's very easy to break their guard for certain things, but yeah, that's just another use for supports. So they're a very useful tool. And just make sure you're being careful when you use them. Like, if you've pulled out both of your supports like here, it's gonna be a few seconds where you can't break a combo. So if he hits me after he gets up here, I have to eat the whole combo and there's nothing I can do about it. But, uh, yeah. That's how supports work in this game. They can either be used for combos, for pressure, for keeping yourself safe, um, uh, for breaking their combo so you don't have to take any damage, or you can do a plus ultra with them. So yes, they're a very useful mechanic, offense or defense, but uh, make sure you're using them wisely. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful, maybe taught you something about sidekicks, and uh, yeah, I wish you luck. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you in the next one.